Welcome to RaiGuru.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to create project workflow in Jira. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with today's agenda. Then we'll move further with practical demo. We'll discuss here what is workflow, how to add new project workflow, configure project workflow with practical demo. Let's jump to the Jira login page. Post login, you're able to see the screen where all your projects are lined here. So let's understand what is Jira workflow. The way tasks and processes are managed in Jira code is through workflow. A workflow maps out steps and stages that a task can go through and defines a process. If your team does work that's more complicated than to do in progress or done, then you need to customize the way your typical process are set up. You can add it overall workflow used in a project or modify the way particular task types are handled in a workflow. So let's take one example of workflow where you can see the scope request then at the initial creation step then start work will give draft and when it moves to the review status then published. If review fails then it will return back to draft and the process will keep continuing unless and until the draft is reviewed and finally processed. Once it is completed, that will be published on web. So this is a simple workflow which we have discussed here. Let's understand how we'll create it and what all key components of workflow. So post selecting on settings tab, select issues and then click on workflows now we jump to this page where you can see add workflow is available here if you want to create any specific workflow click on add workflow add the name of workflow that is the first key component which is required mandatorily and we can use only ascii characters so here to new now description I'm adding here as a test and click on add. Now our workflow will be added here with two new name and we can see here the diagram as an open state where you can add status, add transitions. So now we want a status. status work we are giving here as a status under review click on add you can add it from here open and if you want to add it already present status, you can add it from here. Under review status is added here. Now, if you want to add the transitions, so transition would be from open to under state and you can name as transition state here test. And we can also include the description, but I am not adding here. So under review, you can also add some more status like implementing. Click on add and this status is also added. Let's add some transition here. Uh, from status under review to implementing and 
you can add here pass now you can see the status is added here so by this way we can create our own workflow and post adding all this you can save it that will be seed for our workflow so our key components would be status transitions so status is a current state or you can change it to any specific state as well you can also mark in progress or done whenever there is a to do let's understand the transitions it will be change events transitions are the actions that move a task between status for example you can see here i have opened the state and then under review then post that implementing so now it is moving further with the progress step so resolution is the final step we can keep here when a task is finished and no longer open it needs a resolution state the resolution closes the issues and represents the final state of the piece of work workflow steps are marked to bold columns so if you use bold you will notice there is a correlation between your workflow you can add it to your bold if you want otherwise you can keep as it is but if you want to export your workflow which you have created in terms of xml or as a workflow you can export it at any point of time just select this and click on next next and follow the steps your workflow will be exported if you want to add any further steps you can also add it earlier we were in diagram mode now i have jumped to text mode because of that you can see here the status is available here now i'm done let's jump to back to space keep workflow simple so whenever we are creating any workflow it's always recommended to keep our workflow in simple state and workflow is always in active as well as in active state so you can see here some of the already present workflow is here and some of the inactive workflow is also here we have just created this so i don't want this to be used further so because of that i am deleting from here so that's all about creating workflow inside sheeta if you want to import some of the workflow from the marketplace you can also import it which is already created by some of the experts by just selecting import from the marketplace and you can enter the name or whichever the workflow you are looking for to import it you can simply import it so that's all about creation of workflow in jira hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching